Here you are at lovely High Point gates. These are the security gates that are always open and do not function that you can drive completely right around. There's the magnificent sign for High Point gates. Very pretty, but not what we were told we would get. No boulevard and entrance. Immediately see that the lots are not kept up. Overgrown. Piles of debris on all the lots. Here in the road, you can see potholes that have been repaired once and they're in such bad condition they're still in need of repair. More potholes that are forming in the streets. You see them. Lots that are overgrown. Not kept up at all. Sinkhole right here. Beyond that way is the land sold to Brian Hanna, originally intended for development of duplexes on. You see here the roads washed out so bad that they've had to put rocks in to stop the erosion. It's starting to help somewhat, but it's still not fixed. You can see uh, more lots that aren't kept up. It's a shame. You have such nice grass here. People keeping it up. You can get to these lots, and they're just overrun with weeds. On all sides. There's a house back here that the owner of the property has refused to move, even though it's against the code restrictions. All the lots here just overgrown, overrun with noxious weeds. Uh, debris left here from construction that's been here for a year. Uh, the light poles, so eroded. It's eroding the dirt out from under them. Actually, See, there is no dirt left under. Let's try that again, sorry. I mean, I can lay my hand and spread it out and not touch the ground under here. If the grass were cut, you would see that there is a lot of space under here. I can fit my whole fist and thumb from where the ground is to where it goes because of the erosion. It's eroding out. Continue on the tour of Five Point Gates subdivision, which is strange in itself to call the place High Point Gates if it's not a gated community. You see, all the lawns in the neighborhood by the neighbors are kept nice and neat according to restrictions. But then you see the others. And you just wonder what, what what they're thinking. Here's another bad drainage section I want to show you. It's getting worse every day. That's here, where it's actually washing out. This is getting worse and worse here. I mean, I could show you an example of how big it is and how 
deep that hole is. I mean, it's pretty big. Yeah, and it's just washing out all the way across. You see the yard's nicely kept and then you get to the lots. The debris piles on the middle of the lots, those aren't trees, that's debris piles on both sides. Again, those aren't trees. Those are shrubs and bushes that have grown up around debris piles. But they pushed all the down trees into the middle of the lots and never cleaned them. And this causes vermin to run through our neighborhoods and rats and, and, and snakes. You see how nice people keep that yard and we want this to be a nice neighborhood. And then you get to Mr. Bones' properties and they're all just trash and none, none, none of the restrictions are kept up, none of the maintenance requirements, nothing. Now this in the back here, what I was told by Miss Youngblood would be the dedicated green space. Uh, this whole area again, same, it's washing out, you can see the dirt just washing and eroding away. I was told this would be a green space area and they would build a park back here, which is another reason we moved in and built here. But they built no park, no green space, they won't even cut the grass. really could be a nice neighborhood if the developer would have done what, what we were promised that they would do. It's just a shame that we have to go through things like this because the neighbors all get along. We all love being here. Uh, but it's just not what we were promised. We were told we would get a gated community and they would have a boulevarded entrance and a nice sign and security gates with a security cameras, key padded entry that they would enforce restrictions and keep uh, lots maintained, not like this one here next to my property, this giant pile in the middle that, again, that's not trees back there, that's a giant pile of debris, down trees, weeds, grass, things that vermin and snakes love and where they live. And here's another, just a pile of trees, down trees, grass going, growing around it. Again, there's some really nice homes, people built on the promise of a nice neighborhood, and it's just a shame that uh, someone is going to do this to us. Hopefully the court will uh, see the wrong here. Again, these are the lots that are maybe owned by some other people other than Bone, but of course there's no enforcement of anything. Well, that's our grief. Thank you, sir.